Hi, Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. This video releases on Christmas, the worst time to upload, but here we are. Anyway, I'm making this video because I have some corrections to make to a video that I released earlier this month. That video is on sauna use for cardiovascular disease. I didn't do a very good job, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to enunciate what I got wrong, acknowledge how intelligent the physionic community can be, and to do the work over. I'm referring to this video, which I had a ton of fun in making the thumbnail, but uh, within that video, I explained the data coming from a meta-analysis looking at 16 studies on sauna and different metrics of cardiovascular fitness. In the end, it showed that sauna reduces blood pressure and increases something called ejection fraction. And because I like to hang out in the comments for the first 12 to 24 hours of a video for feedback and to troll mean people, I ran across several comments critiquing my work. And upon reflection, I think they made some excellent points that I think should be fixed. Now, to be clear, I've already added an amendment to that video weeks ago, but I'd like to highlight some points to make a better conclusion, including the critique that I received. The first comment was this one. What is pointed out correctly by PB is that some of these positive results of sauna could be due to vasodilation that occurs from heat, which would reduce blood pressure and also affect ejection fraction. Okay, so what does that all mean visually? Your blood pressure is dependent on two main things. One, the amount of fluid, so volume in your arteries, and two, how open or closed your arteries are. If they're closed and tight, that increases blood pressure. Heat, however, like that from sauna, opens the arteries called vasodilation. This in turn reduces blood pressure. This would explain the drop in blood pressure that I showed in the data. Second, this drop in blood pressure also applies to this area of the heart, the aorta. If pressure in the aorta is high, the left ventricle of the heart here requires more strength to push the blood into the aorta, which would leave more residual blood in the ventricle, as not all of it can overcome the heightened pressure in the aorta. However, if you drop the pressure in the aorta, the same ventricle muscles can push just as hard and would be pushing against less resistance, thereby allowing more blood to move from the ventricle to the aorta, and less would be found in the ventricle. This is captured by a measure called ejection fraction. And since we already saw blood pressure drop, we would expect ejection fraction to possibly improve as well. Okay, so why does this matter? Well, it matters because short-term changes in hemo, hemo, hemo dynamics, what I just explained about blood flow, doesn't necessarily mean these changes will remain long-term. My mistake was to only show the short-term changes, which don't inform on if a person continues to experience these benefits hours or days or weeks after sauna use. I should have shown more convincing data, especially long-term data, considering the data that I showed on blood pressure was readings taken immediately after sauna, which would be heavily influenced by the mechanisms that I just described. So, let me address this fair critique and set the story straight before moving on to the next critique. That same analysis did show long-term data over several weeks like this, that still indicates a long-term blood pressure lowering effect, at least after two and four weeks, as the three-week studies were too few and too small to indicate one way or another. In addition, the ejection fraction data was long-term as presented in the previous video. But as I mentioned in the initial video, there's more evidence, especially long-term data indicating sauna's benefit. But let's address another wonderful point by another in the physiotic community before we touch on that. Here's the second point. The reason I like this so much is because it could be that sauna itself is only a bystander, as many saunas are located in gyms and more physically active people could be using sauna, causing the real effect to come from physical activity and not sauna use. So, as I pointed out in my response, some studies were randomized, meaning physically active and non-physically active people were 
had an equal chance of being in the sauna condition. Beyond that, these are intervention studies. So the idea is that the researchers recruit people who do not already use sauna and simply add sauna to their daily lives for the study. So the only variable that changes is sauna use. There's still some inherent weaknesses of sauna studies in that creating an adequate control group is tough to do. I think a great one to compare against would be uh, similar individuals who do a similar amount of physical activity to distinguish the direct additive effect of sauna, uh, assuming there is one. Anyway, let's address both points simultaneously. Long-term data from studies like this indicates sauna use over 15 years reduces risk of cardiovascular disease death substantially. And that remains true even when accounting for physical activity and another large confounder, socioeconomic status. So overall, I think I could have done a better job in my initial presentation, but I think this seriously highlights that A, I'm human, and regardless of my education, I should be held to a standard with fair, well-thought-out critique. Just to be clear, if you're one of those people that just says BS, that's not what I'm talking about. And B, likely more interesting to you, the overall message about sauna use remains. It is still true that sauna is a benefit in combating cardiovascular disease. I covered several effective sauna protocols for the Physionic Insiders pooled from multiple studies, but I also expect to release more on the intricacies of sauna, especially in relation to exercise, other outcomes beyond uh, heart health, and possibly cold therapy in the future. Anyway, if you want to check out the original video with more details, it's here. And otherwise, thanks for being a member of Physionic. It means a lot. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. So